In this video, we are going to discuss about the elements of SLA. As we, as we discussed about SLA, service level agreement between the customer and the organization. So what are the elements comes in this SLA? The elements are service scope and description. What is the scope for service and what are the, how the service is described in that document? Service hours. So what is service hours? Service hours is nothing but business hours and out of business hours and when the service needs to be uh, online every time in the business hours. Measures of availability and reliability. So what are the measurements of availability and reliability? Support details. That means who to contact, when to contact and on what number to contact. It depends on all the teams, internal teams whom to contact like who is the person responsible and available at this, at this time and what is his number and what is his responsibility of getting the service online. Respond and fix times that means resolution SLA and response SLA. Response SLA is a particular time when and we can respond to the issue and resolution SLA is what the time we resolve the issue. Deliverables and time scales and based on what time scales the deliverables should be delivered to the client. Change approval and implementation. So what is the change which needs to be get approval from the CAB change advisory board and when it should be implementation so that in, what is the notification we take here. Reference to IT services and continuity plan. So what the reference we take with the IT services to improve or continuity of the plan should be maintained. Signatories. So who are the signatories responsible to maintain this SLS? Responsibilities of both parties. That means responsibilities of the client and responsibilities of the, uh, of the organization who manages this SLS. Review the processes. So it should be reviewed every quarterly so that the SLS are maintained or can be revised. Glossary of the terms. So what is the glossary of the terms? We should be publishing it in the document so that each and every employee who wanted to go through this SLA document can get the information. So coming to the organizational structure of the SLA is, you can see here SLA, OLA and UC, service level agreement, operational level agreement and underpinning contract and where these lie in the process. So between the customer and the organization management, we get the SLA. That means when a customer is having an issue, he raise it with the management or a, serv a service desk. So based on that, the resolution SLA and the response SLA comes in picture here and the SLA should be met between the customer and organization management. So coming to the operation level agreement, it comes between the organiza organization management and organization's internal teams. So the operation level management comes between these two. Coming to the underpinning contract comes between the internal teams of the organization and the vendors. When if if anything assistance we if we require from our vendors, we, we log a call with them and the underpinning contract which is signed between these both should be having the information about the time frames which the service can come into the online. 